I'm Dr. Kate Steiner, burnout recovery coach and expert. And I am here to let you know five things that you should do if you're experiencing work burnout. Number one, name your burnout. It is so important that you put a name to what you are experiencing. And if you are waking up more days of the week than not, feeling overwhelmed, feeling burdened by your work, feeling as though the work is unmanageable, experiencing a loss of joy when you used to felt, feel great passion and connection to your work, then you are probably in a state of burnout. And the first thing you can do to control that is to name it. Give it the name burnout so that you know what you need to do to recover from it. That brings us to number two, identify your burn events. So burn events are a little bit different than burnout. Burn events are daily happenings, activities, circumstances, difficult humans that bring us fatigue, feeling emotionally drained, and feeling overwhelmed. Now, some people chalk this up to general stress or just having a bad meeting, something to that effect. But these things actually can compound upon each other, snowball, and create overall burnout. So you do want to identify them. Look at your calendar, name the things that you know are going to bring you those feelings of feeling emotionally drained and highlight them so you can prepare for them. And that brings us to number three, create your preparation plan. So when you have identified these upcoming burn events, you want to prepare for them in a different way. And that means that you need to highlight things that you need to do so that you can feel your healthiest, happiest self while these things are going on. If you have a really heavy work week coming up, think about how you're going to approach that differently. Do you need to think about your sleep differently? Do you need to meal plan differently? How are you going to move your body throughout that week so that you get some physical wellness and physical engagement? And what are you going to do for yourself immediately after that to recover? And that brings us to tip number four, create your recovery plan. So we all have a different recovery formula. And this, these are things that bring us into that recovery space. And the recovery space is when you feel like you're most yourself. You feel most connected to your work, to what you are doing. You know that you are experiencing life as your happiest, healthiest self. You feel a sense of grounding, a sense of balance. Things just happen because they're just going well. That's the space you want to get into, but we all have ways of getting there. I like to use the acronym RICE, and this is often used for physical injuries, but for burnout recovery, it's rest, idle, comfort, and enjoy. You want to take a break. Recovery doesn't start until you stop whatever it is that's bringing you the burnout. You have to take a rest from that. Idle, slow down, enjoy the moment around you. Take a pause, take a breath, and just be. Comfort. Everyone has a comfort list, and I want you to identify what's on yours. This is a list of foods, drinks, items, people, pets, anything that brings you immediate comfort, calm, a sense of peace, warmth. Mac and cheese is my number one comfort item. What's yours? And then enjoy. You want to enjoy your life. The easiest way of doing that is implementing some play into your day-to-day -day activities. I love a good old dance party. Anyone else dance down the grocery store aisles? It's okay if it's just me, but I have fun doing it. So make sure that you're adding some enjoyment to your recovery formula. And five, number five, schedule your recovery. It is incredibly important that we put recovery space onto our calendars and we need to do that daily, weekly, monthly, throughout the year. Just as important as putting it onto your calendar and utilizing what you've discovered as your recovery formula, you need to make sure that you honor that time and space the same way you would if it was a meeting with someone else. Don't cancel on yourself. 
So that's five things you should do if you're experiencing work burnout. I'm Dr. Kate, and I am excited to share these with you. I hope that if you need anything from me, you reach out. You can find me at liftwellnessconsulting.com. Take care and be well, y'all.